How cool is it to actually look inside the original Firefly Funhouse set and think this is actually a possibility once again? Now, we all know at WrestleMania, John Cena will step into the Firefly Funhouse now with the Fiend Bray Wyatt. And of course, I think this is one of those matches where no matter what WWE do, it's highly anticipated. People can't wait to see it. But we got a major announcement on SmackDown. They will do battle in a Firefly Funhouse match. But we don't know what a Firefly Funhouse match actually is. So, of course, we have to do a theory video, a look at different possibilities, what it could involve, what it should involve. I think this will be very interesting. Now, it doesn't mean that the match has to take place in the Firefly Funhouse. We'll get to that one a little bit later on. I think that's the most likely cause. Obviously, we know that WWE have said that WrestleMania will be filmed in multiple locations this year. The Funhouse could be one of them. We have no idea where it's located, really. Be honest. Now, the first thing we thought of straight away is the House of Horrors match. Of course, this is when Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt did battle. This was a really good match. And I really wouldn't mind seeing something similar to this in WWE again. The only thing I hope they don't do is what they did last time, where the match then ends in the ring. And all this weird, creepy stuff in the ring. It just didn't work for me, personally. I, for some of you may enjoy it. I personally didn't. I wouldn't mind seeing this kind of in some dark house beating up each other maybe a bit lighter because it's the fun house and the fun never ends but how cool is it that the first time we ever saw the puppets they kind of resemble that house they was all like derelict and dark and dusty maybe we go back there maybe the fun house has got a dark side that will be unleashed during the match it's possible and talking of puppets who says the puppets will not be involved in the match in some way? We could see Mercy the Buzzard, like, pecking away at John Cena. We could see Huskus the Pig Boy do, like, a Banzai drop. Maybe, like, a full splash onto John Cena. Maybe he could eat him. <laughs> Who knows? We could see Rambling Rabbit sort of nibbling away at the ankles or something. Maybe John Cena hits him with an attitude adjustment and kills Rambling Rabbit. Maybe Abby the Witch casts a spell on John Cena. Maybe she falls in love with him. Maybe Vince McMahon fires him. That's never going to happen. We know that. <laughs> Another thing at the WWE Performance Center where we know WrestleMania is being filmed is their green screen room. They are really big on green screens at the PC. They could incorporate those into the funhouse. That, I think, would be very interesting. They could be in one room one minute, another room the next. Bray could teleport all over the place. It's kind of similar to what Matt Hardy did on AEW. That's a really big possibility to look out for. Of course, being a Funhouse match, does that mean he's facing The Fiend? Or Funhouse Bray? Or both? I think that's very interesting. I like this. He could one minute be fighting Bray. Maybe Bray falls through the door and then the Fiend is let in. Who knows? Anything's possible because it's pre-taped. It's not like he's just got to chuck a mask on. He could have an hour and then the match restarts. It makes perfect sense. Another thing we see a lot in the Funhouse are weapons. Of course, you got a TV over there, a table. Of course, the hammer. We've still not seen that hammer used as a weapon either. We've got Bray Wyatt actually has a toy box full of despicable things. We saw him pull out horrible stuff from that toy box before. Who knows what's in it this time? Maybe that will make a reappearance. I think so. I think that's a very likely outcome here is that toy box will be a focal point where Bray pulls out impossible things from it and maybe even like a ladder or something stupid. That could be quite fun and interesting, kind of giving Bray that magician vibe again. One thing I really want to see is Rambling Rabbit Bohemian Breakfast Spread. Bray's got weeks, I mean, we know time's not relevant in the Funhouse anyway, to prepare a lot of Rambling Rabbit Bohemian Breakfast Spread. Why could he not prepare that and then smother it with on John Cena? Why could there not be like jam flying everywhere? I think that would be quite funny. If Funhouse Bray is doing it, don't let the fiend do it. Let Funhouse Bray 
do it. I think that is definitely interesting. Of course, another huge thing is the door. If we do get the return of the original set or something similar, is the door going to be used? Are they going to go in and out of the door? Is the ring the other side of the door? Is hell the other side of the door? We could get massive answers here to the funhouse. Of course, we could see parts of the funhouse we've never seen before. Where's the kitchen? Where's the bathroom? We could find that out. Now, I'm super excited for the announcement that this is a Firefly Funhouse match. I really think WWE have captured everyone's attention with this. Um, it's something that doesn't require an audience because likelihood is it's going to be backstage anyway. So I think that's perfectly fine. I'm really interested to know what your thoughts are. What are your thoughts? What do you think of Firefly Funhouse matches? Let me know in the comments section down below. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. I will, as always, see you next time. Peace!